Welcome back everybody. So today we're installing this solar powered Wi-Fi security camera up here at the property. Uh, we converted our Starlink over to 12 volt, got a video out on that. Uh, so let's get started with this. So we're looking at some options for security cameras up here now that we're going to start hauling building materials in and honestly we've had some deer footprints so I'll, you know right here by the deck i really want to see what's going on when we're not here we've got this deco camera um, it is a solar powered wi-fi camera so working with the starlink since the starlink's now going to run off the solar power in the uh, trailer uh, we're going to mount this guy up and we should be able to access this anytime we want. It's a really cool camera. Uh, we took it out of the box last night. It comes with the camera, a mounting bracket for the camera, the solar panel, uh, and this bracket to mount the solar panel. Uh, there's a little charge cord and some stickers and some mounting screws and stuff in there. But um, we're going to mount it up on this tree over here. Um, really cool it gives us the ability to actually rotate and change the view of the camera whenever we want uh, so we'll get it set where we want it and then if we want to just hop on and kind of just do a quick scan of the area and see you know is it raining is anybody around uh, anything like that it's got motion alerts all that good stuff so we're gonna get started installing this thing and uh, we'll see how it works right there, huh? Plastic little bracket, not my favorite thing, but I think that's going to work. Be careful screwing into a tree, you know, snap the bracket. So this is my south facing uh, side, so I'm going to put the solar panel over there so it gets the most sunlight. Um, this is a fairly clear area. So hopefully it'll get enough uh, get enough sunlight to keep this thing charged. Um, last night we opened it up. It comes with a cable so that you can charge it inside. Uh, so the battery is fully charged on this thing. And now this guy should be able to maintain it. You can see it's a fairly adjustable little piece, uh, little mounting piece. Um, just get it connected here take that piece completely off that would be easier get it screwed in tighten up the little backing nut I think I want it like that That up. That's actually a pretty decent little bracket. I wish they had a bracket more like that for the camera side. And uh, I'll get a little zip tie. Gives you, I don't know, six feet of cable uh, to go in between. Uh, I'll uh, get a little zip tie, secure all this wire. So this is uh, the app. Uh, I'm the instruction manual. It'll give you the app that you need to download. And you can see we've got the live view right here. Uh, from the camera uh, pretty good quality this was one of the features that I was really interested in is being able to move pan the camera around while we're not here um, that way if we did get a motion alert we can look around in the area and see what might have been giving us the motion so it's got up down and 360 uh, rotation so pretty good gives motion alerts 
but overall really happy with uh, the app and uh, what we're you know what we're seeing of course we've only had it up for a few minutes now played with it a little bit last night uh, but should be able to get it set so that uh, we can watch our front door and see our driveway all at the same time and we'll know if anybody or anything has been kind of messing around out here so we've had the camera up for about four months now um, really love it haven't had any problems with it it's been great to be able to you know check on the weather see what kind of animals are coming through uh, really happy with it the biggest problem that we've had is the 12 volt starlink conversion uh, because we're kind of down in a canyon, the solar panels aren't charging the battery fast enough. So it'll go a little over a week uh, and then it'll completely die. So if we're not up every weekend to uh, turn the generator on and recharge everything, we'll end up losing the, uh, losing the camera because we lost the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi shuts down. Uh, check out some of these videos of the stuff that we have seen on the camera. Uh, and we're working to get the... Uh, 12 volt Starlink stuff so that it's consistent. Um, so once we figure that out, uh, we'll be able to post a video about that. So what's cool about the camera is like if if you see someone it's not supposed to be in your property. There's this little siren button and it when you press it the camera will just go whoa 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 